Yes, Father, I just got done booting up the footage into the into the Final Cut program for my uh, my teaching of December the 12th, 2020, 1212. The name is the Red Pirate Roberts teaches, but it's also pirate teach, teaches Catholic kids. Kind of like the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. But anyhow, it's like a half hour plus already. Uh, let me go over here to, let me explain it like this. Uh, Jacob and his son, see, they were, Jacob was a nomad wandering the land with his family in a caravan. Uh, and he came across a new kingdom where they hoped to have food and water and everything. And he went and he met with the king. And the king also of the kingdom that existed there had a prince, a young prince and a son who was not married. I perceive him around 18, 19 years old. Maybe 27, 28, who knows, in that range. But anyhow, Jacob had a daughter. So the king decided to uh, hold a feast to invite Jacob and his family in to visit with the kingdom and see how they were going to fit in. It, I guess it was a kindly king. Uh, and they went in and, well, the young prince, obviously, uh, flirting and mixing and mingle with his company, was drinking and having a party with the others. And next thing you know, he had the opportunity and the occasion to be alone with the daughter and she'd also been drinking. Now, just like uh, a father is setting up their, their children, this one father setting up his prince, his son, and the other father, Jacob setting up his daughter. Well, they got to drinking, he got alone. The first time a boy and a girl was allowed alone together, and they'd both been drinking. And next thing you know, yeah, things happened. And she came out and tried to hold pace. She said rape. Well, right away, Jacob understood. This gave the other king right into Jacob's hand. Because as the prince, the only son of the king, uh, the son would now be subjected to Jacob's decision whether or not he should be put to death as the law called for or would wed his daughter. So Jacob was using his cunning skill and he also uh, to merge the people and to atone for the trespass against God and trespassing against Jacob's daughter trespassing against Jacob, trespassing against God. Jacob's God, the God of the Bible. So he said about circumcision. And the other king, king couldn't do anything but just agree, otherwise his son could be put to death. So he agreed. And lo and behold, they went, all the princes, greatest to least, got circumcised. And you know how that is, so, you can't recollect how it is as a baby, but you can't imagine how it is as an adult. But it took a lot out of them, a lot of stinging and a lot of pain, and nobody really feel like doing nothing after that. So Jacob took his family and went back out to where they were staying, the other side of the whatever, adjacent desert, whatever. Same desert, just a ways off from the kingdom. They weren't staying there yet. And Jacob's children, his sons, got that wild-eyed idea. Now here's the children overriding their father, not even caring what their father had to say, not even caring what the father had already done, not even caring or concerning himself to understand the father's connection with God as a son to his father and what was being set up for his family, for his kingdom as a good and faithful servant. So the son said, no, 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 pound on the chest, pound on the chest, he raped our sister, ah, went over and slaughtered all the princes. And they couldn't even hardly defend themselves. Went and slaughtered all the princes. I see the same thing everywhere you go. It's set up by God, it's finished by Christ, and yet you don't act on it. You don't follow through. You don't even honor your mother and your father. 
You're taught to do this and that and everything. You're taught to do this way and that way and every other way under the sun. And all the Bible says is, if my people hear my voice and turn from their wicked ways. Simple. Good morning, Father. December 13th, Sunday morning. And yes, thank you, Father. I'm trying to, well, I ask that forgiveness for failing me so miserably in the presentation of thy word. And you answered me with, uh, I guess, that auspicious riddle as far as the east is from the west. As far as the east from the west. And I've heard it explained that they never meet. True east and true west never meet. And that's not true. True east and true west meet at the same point where true north and true south meet. That's the center point. Alright? Uh, that's the point in the beginning. That's true in every direction. That's the cave of the four winds. That would be the Spanish and the Asian and the white and the black. They meet at the center point. They meet in God, in Jesus Christ. Uh, so linear, nonlinear is the same as my, well, the same as your word, the same as uh, your law, the same as your constitution, the same as your uh, cave of allegory, the same as your mill, the same as your vineyard, all starting at the same point, the point of birth, the point of immaculate conception, the point of free choice. The point of belief, the point of faith. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, as you've been taught, everyone waits till after they die to go to hell or to go to heaven. They wait till after they die. But what they don't understand is Christ ascended so his own greater come to teach her. Emmanuel, the Father Spirit, the Holy Spirit, could come to teach you and be with you and walk with you. So the spirit of the air, when Christ ascended, having conquered Satan, it is finished. It is finished and conquered. But the ignorance of the people persisted. So Christ had to ascend. And the Holy Spirit came. Pentecost. Came upon all the people. And as you've been taught by all these pastors, the spirit of the air is the devil. Christ ascended, so the Holy Spirit come. The spirit of the air, omnipotence, became the Holy Spirit. The confessor, the convictor, and also a wonderful counselor, but no hole is barred, no, pu no punch is pulled. Christ said he was going ahead of you to set up a place so that where he was that you could also be found. That's America. That's why Columbus, following his heart brain, heart brain, discerning from the analytical brain, the left brain, and the spiritual brain, the right brain, the heart brain, the writing of God, after meeting in the abbeys, and meeting in the chapels, and meeting in the convents, with all the priests, and growing up almost like an orphan, where the church was his home. And he followed his heart, to find a new spice route. Not only a new travel route or trade route, but more than that. He got turned down and turned down and turned down on people to finance his voyage. But the Queen of Spain had a young son. And this is the time, I guess, of the Spanish Inquisition. And the Inquisitors were out there, they're just like the Puritans. And they'll tie you up and they'll throw you in the water and if you, if you float your innocent, if you sink, you drown. How asinine are these people? Put them in a pole and light it on fire. If they're not burned, they're innocent. What assholes? But anyhow, I can see now how you end up at this point dealing with your capitalism and dealing with the Christ, Son of Man Christ, being left by the side of Mecca, by the side of trade, by the side of industry, on his face, beaten badly beyond to an inch of himself and left there. That's where Jesus is, laying face down in a ditch. And God comes along, the Father, the Good Samaritan. 
because the priest and the rabbi walk right by Christ and don't even see him there. Oh, they see him there, but they won't have nothing to do with him. Really? I guess it ruins their franchise, huh? Takes away their authority, doesn't it? To submit to God, it would take away their authority, wouldn't it? To submit to the Son of Man, it would take away their authority, wouldn't it? As far as being a representative of the Republic, how could they lose their authority like that? And so we go rule wars, everybody. So yeah, I can see that Good Samaritan come into play. At the same point in time, I see the Prodigal Son come into play. Because now here it is, look at what you've done to a representative republic. Democracy, a Spartan democracy, a Spartan democracy. And nobody has rights. Do you hear the, the, oh, the black man, the black man, oh, you, you kidnapped them from Africa. Talk to a cargo master. How did they, how did they prosecute the captain and the entire ship of the Amistad? Oh, the cargo master had an invoice, invoice number for each and every one and a, and a receipt of purchase where the black man was bought from the black man for a price. Kidnapped. Bought. Purchased. Kidnapped. Bought. Purchased. Piece of property. By their own people selling them as a piece of property. The GDP for Africa was people. One tribe would fall on another tribe and kill all the men and take all the women. Oh, well, what color were those uh, young girls in the school that Boko Haram took and did what they pleased with? What color were their parents? How about the people in the mall that ISIS turned around and started shooting? What color, what nationality were these people? What faith were these people? Do you understand Satan? Do you understand you can, there's black, there's white, there's Asian, and there's Spanish. That's the four winds. You understand that? All basic common denominators, all deriving from one, which is light, which is white. The palette can produce all colors. That everything can blend with, and everything can become a color. Two blacks can make a white, is what they said in the 60s? Uh, no, I don't think so. They call him an Uncle Tom. Oh! Now I can see it all coming into play. Why they've never taught the Bible firsthand. Visualizing what the Word says, taking it into your heart, beating on it, digesting it, seeking His face, learning and understanding His... I'm trying to keep this short. But you understand what I'm saying. And now you're at the point of the prodigal son. So you're at the point of Daniel being thrown into the lion's den. That's where you are. Being sold out. Oh yeah, Joe Biden, he's honorary black. He's a black man, he voted for Biden. And he proved it too, he's black. He already sold us out to China. Sold his own people, sold the whiteies out to China. Sold out Mother Russia, yeah. Putin was educated in the United States of America. Where did people go to school? What do you pay these prices for? And how the hell do these people collect pages, paychecks? Representative Republic. The Supreme Court of the United States of America? You got two judges on a nine judge panel. Two! Alito and Thomas. That's it. That's it. The rest can go home. They're dealing with another acorn. Oh, I guess Amy Comey Bryant. When she was a circuit court federal judge uh, there in the appellate, you know what, all the appellate courts got to call up the judges. Call up, they got to call Kennedy. Hello, Kennedy. Yeah, this is what I want to do over here. Hello, Kennedy. This is what I want to do over here. Hello, Kennedy. Can I do this over here? Every judge in the nation. Hello, Kennedy. Can I do this over here? Hello, Kennedy. Each is supposed to be an independent jurist. Independent. Sworn. Independent. Hello, Kennedy. Hello, Kennedy. They work on precedent. Why is that? It's because why? And where is the antagonist protagonist? The Trial Lawyer Association, sure, sure. Well, I want to use this precedent. I want to use this precedent. You're not based on the Word of God. You're not based on the rule of law. You're not based on the Constitution when you're dealing with man's precedent. Well, what did you make up last time? Well, what did you tell him last time? Let's build on that. What did you tell him last time? Let's build on that. What did you tell him last time? When I tried my 
briefs and put them in for a superior court. They, they held on it for months and months and months. And then they sent it back with a handwritten pages, three or four copied together. They don't know what you're saying. They don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. Superior Court judges of the city of Philadelphia. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I and I got it. I got the material. They may have purged me out of their computers. I kept the originals. Yo. Yo, you home? Yeah, well, what's up? You got front? Why you get locked in 6 o'clock, 6 30? Well, whatever. I'll be out in a minute. All right, see you in a second. Yep. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, the point of up and down and side to side. The point of perimeter, the point of shape, the point of form. Uh, where darkness is no form upon the water, uh, longitude and latitude gives you pinpoint precision. It allows you to know that's what they use with a sexton and triangulation to pinpoint. Alright, so you do have uh, true north, true south, true east, and true west. And a true meeting point, which is longitude and latitude, which is the individual person. Uh, the GPS. Uh, God, person standing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Father. The uh, point of contact, a conscious thought, uh, the Joshua seed. I'll talked to Dennis again about it. I tried, this is my prophet's quarters here. Uh, just like Thomas Edison, uh, just like Henry Ford, uh, just like Santa Claus, uh, just like Walt Disney, just like my grandfather raised me. You always have your office. Your, your office is in the basement, your office is in the den. Your point of creativity the point of the seed. Uh, seed maybe what put this place back like my problem with the bed back in the kitchen. Not thinking about private company or guests, but my work is my life. My life is my work. My seed from my Joshua tree. If I can get Dennis to meet here with me several days a week, a report here to work. So the KCTV actually on its network host I on Kennington or I of Kennington or other channels. But you'll have a point of contact and just like PK Animal Sh Community Animal Shelter, Pretty Kitty Animal Shelter, you had a cat already lining up at the door. You have a thankful cat here like Dr. Doolittle that can meet our guests when they come in. But a point of contact, a point of here, a point of growth, the, the, the nucleus. And, and then from that point comes the protons and the neutrons and the electrons. That's the, the wife and uh, I guess wife, the bride maid and the children. Proton, neutron, and electron. And we build outwards, we make material manifest. We manifest materially from the point of consciousness, true east, west, north, and south, longitude and latitude, to map out our way. And then that would tie in motor, searching the map. That also ties in one eyed willy. It ties in everything. The point of consciousness, my North Pole, Santa's workshop. Joshua Seed, Joshua Tree, Generation X. It all ties together. And out of this forms man's ability to think and bringing together elements and compounds in observation and discern and assembly 
assemblage, allegiance, so dedication and contribution and commitment and covenant. Yes, Father, they all meet. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That would be the same thing as the pinnacle, the point where all things meet. Where all things began, all things continue, all things end. It's not a point of ending, it's the pyramids stacked one on top of the other. It's the genetic code. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, like the Great Pyramid of Giza itself, and all the pyramids, built from the top down, created from the top down, born of heaven, born of ideal and thought from the top down and then constructed, made manifest materially as in standing, as in gravitationally being able to reach upward that would be to stack as Einstein had put it stacking one on top of the other uh, the greatest to the least and uh, as God said uh, making it to heaven it would be uh, the least would be the greatest because it, it's the seed so it ties one into the other it, it connects the continuum and makes manifest a perpetual expansion in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that's quantum physics in Jesus name Amen yes Lord the yin and the yang uh, let there be light the spark of understanding the spark of conscious comprehension the spark generated from the friction of the brown versus the black versus the yellow versus the white the point of acceptance that all colors are born of energy and all energy has no color it is simply male and female positive and negative true positive and true negative yin and yang now place an animosity the male and between the, between the male and female is a simple contention of making both wholly perfect in themselves wholly perfect as a male wholly perfect as a female and there is to rub again the contention which is better and the answer is yes the perfect male and the perfect female are together the perfect one uh, Native American the aura as you come together the aura increases it doesn't double it increases it adds to itself and the light becomes bigger so yeah the point of contention uh, male and female positive and negative there's no color as part of the picture uh, color is part of the development it's part of making manifest it's part of all things collectively uh, reflection In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen <laughs> hey, yes Father uh, that's funny. I was just recalling Dawn Sesslin from the Richie Oli Show on 1210 AM WPHT. The other day she reported in the news that the honeybee has found a way to defend itself against the murder hornet. <laughs> covers itself with human feces and that keeps the murder warning away. <laughs> I wear clothes pin like this like they show you under the rascals <laughs> and I get close to honey bee. <laughs> That explains California. <laughs> uh, uh, California dreaming, yeah. 
on such a winter day. <laughs> I stopped into a church. I passed along the way. I got down on my knees and I began to pray. Hey! Hey, yeah. hey come Alright, call for the neighbors upstairs, I guess. I don't know. They're calling up the alleyway in the intercom. Oh, spirits. Name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, Father. In human flesh. A transvestite, homosexual. They were just hollering up the alleyway. That was not for the neighbors, that was for me. Looking for her boyfriend, its boyfriend, a white guy, tall white guy with muscles, and then she said, no, 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 it's her boyfriend, no, 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 it's her, it's her son, it's, he, it's his mother. <laughs> so I just sent it away. I said to it, yes, he can give his confession up the alleyway, I'm listening, so she can speak into the air, that's fine. It's coming up this way, God hears all things. I said, I'll take your confession, that's fine. Tell your story, I'm listening. And, you know, God bless, and in Jesus' name. And then, then it went away. It's demon in flesh. Yeah, I told you, now you gotta watch for them when their eyes fill up with the blackness, because that's the soul itself. So, this ain't no fun and games. And welcome to my world, all right? This is the world of the crosser. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This is the gate, the Western Gate. In Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, yes, uh, Citizen Obama, Barack, you do not screw with this kind of stuff. It's not uh, angels and demons are not algorithms and algorithms. No, 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 no. Legions. That's what was at the gate. Legions in one being, coming from the catacombs. You don't screw with this. You get out of the captain's chair. That's my seat, and I put Donald Trump in it. Do you understand me? Do you understand that, America? Do you understand that world? Do you understand that? Four year terms. He's already served his first, now he's starting his second. Do you understand that? You take your Joe Biden, take your puppet away, put him on his side. We're reforming education, the church, and the government. Do you understand me? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Is it clear? Am I conveying my message to you truthfully? All right, this is it. We're at the point in the junction now. You don't play games here. This is the Western Gate. This is where I wait. This is my job. I'm I'm the job. I'm the job here. Do you understand me? All right. Now you align. And if you don't align, you're going to hell. You're going to hell real quick. You're not going to be playing games here. These things will eat you alive. They will tear you limb from limb. Do you understand me? Human flesh, black eyes. They will. It's the bloodlust. Do you understand what drives Antifa? Antifa. Well, what drives Anonymous? What drives Black Lives Matter? What drives prejudice? What drives affirmative action? Systemic racism. Do you understand that? Your royals. Do you understand what I'm telling you? You don't play games here. This is my chair. I stepped above Einstein. Yes. Einstein's a good kid. Not a problem. I continued and I'm bearing my fruit in my due season. Get the hell out of my way. Do you understand me? In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, the invasion of the body snatchers. Like Google erasing your history. Like the reprogramming your thoughts through television. Through six over five, through satellite, directing this information and controlling the storyline, controlling the narrative, producing the news. Do you understand me yet? How would I know unless a man told me? Do you understand me yet? All you know is what's been read over you. Do you understand me now? Can you hear me now? Get the hell out of my way. Do you understand me now? There's only one point of reference. That's Jesus. That's it. Do you understand me now? Get the hell out of the way. Do you understand me now? We are going forward. Do you understand that world? Do you understand that America? Do you understand that DC? Do you understand that? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pray you understand. All right, Jesus prayed your faith would not fail. Your faith is not failing you. Get the hell out of the way. Fall in line. Get behind Moses. That's your only salvation. Moses is the word. 
Moses is a lawgiver. He's hearing directly from the Father. He's hearing directly from the Word itself. The testimony is coming through all things, omnipotently. He's trained himself up. He's been raised. He's been quickened by the Spirit himself. He's been infused with the angel. Do you understand me now? Do you understand me now? Do you understand storytelling? Do you understand truth? Do you understand history? Do you understand fact? Do you understand science? Do you understand biology? Do you understand me now? In Jesus' name, amen. Dr. Tony Evans, Colonel West. <laughs> Donald Trump, my beloved. My beloved Trump, yes. <laughs> it's okay, thank you, cat. No, it's not bad spirit. Inspiration, breath, do you understand me now? <laughs> Yes, democracy, and man, in your ignorance, what you don't understand, the deception in this vote, what you do is you also invalidate all contracts, all third party contracts are now null and void, as long as it stands, as long as you have Biden in, as your whatever the hell you want to put him in as, as long as you have this puppet show going on like this. Then yes, they can starve you, they can kill you, they can take everything you have and reassign it to whoever they want. Legally. Because they sit there and you're asking the criminals if you can have justice yet. Do you understand me yet, children? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You better backtrack, you better backpedal, you better start stepping back real quick. Get behind Moses. Get behind Joshua. Get behind me. In Jesus' name. Amen.